add only those skills in your resume that you are very confident of i'm okay. right now working as a java developer at nucleus software noida and okay. i have cracked tcs as an on campus opportunity Hi everybody welcome back to coding ninjas i am kabir singh and i'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys so today the company that we're talking about is tcs which we know that comes in a lot of campus placements out there so today we have shubhangi and she's going to help us out with her interview experience and we'll try figuring out you know whatever happened in every round how many questions were there we'll brief out every round for you guys and we're going to go with the same process as we go for every interview experience and uh, let's see how it goes so let's welcome shubhangi hi shubhangi how are you i'm good kabir how are you i'm good i'm good shubhangi can you give me a small introduction about yourself and then we can hop into the interview experience directly yeah sure so hi everyone i'm shubhangi bhandari and i've recently graduated from dev institute of engineering and technology jalandhar I'm okay. right now working as a Java developer at Nucleus Software Noida, and okay. I have cracked TCS as an on-campus opportunity. That's great. That's great. So, Shubhangi, how many rounds did you actually have for TCS? We had three rounds actually. Okay, three rounds. And what were the three rounds? Can you name them out, and then we can start briefing them out one by one? Yeah, the first round was the written assessment round. Mm -hmm. The second round was the technical round. Okay. And the third round was the HR verification round. Okay. So going to the first round, which you said was the written assessment round, Shubhangi, what actually happened in that round? Can you brief us out with that? Yeah. So basically, in the first round, there are five sections: mm -hmm. verbal ability, logical ability, reasoning ability, numerical ability, and hands-on coding questions were there. So there were ninety MCQs and two coding questions. Okay. And uh, we had timings for each question, mm -hmm. and the overall exam was for three hours. Okay, yeah. so the ninety MCQs, I guess we can name them out to be aptitude questions, correct? Yeah. And right. the rest of the two questions were the data structure coding questions. Coding questions. Okay, and three hours as a whole were given to you. There were no distribution of the timeline. You can solve any question no. any time. No, we can't. Okay. Uh, there was sectional cutoff as well as sectional timing. So for each question, they had given a set of minutes, like on the basis of the difficulty level. Okay. Yeah. and then you have to solve that question out yes that's that's really nice out there so chubangi when we talk about a written assessment you have 3 hours and such a strict timeline to solve every question it becomes a little difficult so what would you actually rate the difficulty level to be for the entire round as well as a specific difficulty of the two data structure questions can you tell us that easy medium or hard what would you rate it to be first you can tell about so, the two questions which you got and then you can tell about the entire round including the aptitude questions okay so for the aptitude questions it was basically medium level okay. if you have practiced really well it will be easy for you to solve for that particular amount of time and right. for the two coding question it was one medium level question and one was very hard okay so one was a medium one was a very hard question not bad and how much time did you take to solve it did you take the entire 3 hour timeline or did you solve it before i took around 2 hours and 45 minutes to solve okay. the entire exam that's that's really nice so moving on to the second round what actually happened in that so basically after 20 days we got the mail that you have been selected for the interview and okay. in the interview round there were three people in the panel one mm -hmm. for the technical one for the managerial and the other one for the hr So okay. it all started off with the in basic introduction. Then from the introduction, they hop on to the basic my project that was the seven semester major project, and okay. the all discussion was around that only. And after that, they asked me basic computer science fundamental questions, and uh, then there was situational based question that was asked by the managerial person. Okay. And then the interview was over. Okay so it was a combination of a lot of things out there which i can yeah. figure out so what would you rate the difficulty of this round it was easy for me because okay. the project was just <clears throat> the only part of the discussion so mm -hmm. it was pretty easy okay so we can kind of conclude that if somebody has made their project on their own and you know they're well yes. aware about their project you can easily crack that round but if yeah. you know you're copying it out from somewhere or you just writing something in your resume which you're not done with i guess that is going to be a little problem out there yeah absolutely okay 
Okay, and moving on to the final round, what actually happened in that? So it is basically a verification round. Mm-hmm. So in this, they check your mark sheets from ten to your uh, six semester mark sheet. Okay. And uh, after that, one identification proof is required, and then mm-hmm. certain basic HR questions like what, where do you see yourself in five years? So basic okay. HR round. Basic HR round out there. I guess that's easy because everybody is, you know, well prepared for HR rounds. I guess because whenever you're sitting yeah. for interviews, HR round is something which you're sure about. Ki, TK, you know, yeah. all of the questions that are going to come. It's a very generic pattern for every HR for any company out there. So you can rate it to be pretty easy. That's really nice. I guess, you know, listening to the interview experience that you have, we can rate this interview experience to be pretty smooth for you. Is that correct? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, it was. Okay, so moving on, before we wrap this interview experience up, uh, Shubhangi, I really want to ask you one question, which is what would you advise or maybe, you know, give some tip or a trick to your juniors or the people watching this video to do or to implement in their consistency and their coding journey so that they can get a good placement like you? Okay, so I would advise that make sure you have at least one good project because mm-hmm. that shows that you have a good practical exposure. Correct. And the second part is add only those skills in your resume that you are very confident of. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. But what would you recommend about the coding part? You know, the way you're telling that the coding round, the first round was a little medium for you. So any suggestions for that on how they can practice or maybe how they can maintain their consistency? So practice as many questions as you can. There are tons of website, Coding Ninjas, Lead Code, Hacker and mm-hmm. So once you have done with the particular topic please practice the question and then right. shift on to the next topic correct okay that's that's really nice also guys just wanted to inform you if you want to read this interview experience out shubangi has written a spectacular article for the company coding ninjas i'll put the link in the description below you can go and have a look and also solve the problems that she caught in her own interview so that's going to be a little easier for you to understand how pcs gives you the questions how DSA questions are and what is the level of their questions. So you can solve the questions out, you can read the interview experience word by word, and you'll get to know a little more about how the interview experience is for the company TCS. So I hope you liked the video, guys. And I really thank you, Shubhangi, for giving us such a wonderful, you know, guidance towards how we can get a good placement. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. I hope you liked the video. You can hit the like button if you did, hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Happy coding, guys.